Shri Radha Radha Kanta Gopa Gopi Nasha Makun Radha Kun Giri Govardhan Kija Shri Vrindavan Dham Kija Mayapur Dham Kija Jagannath Puri Dham Kija Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Kija Go Prairandi Go All glories to the assembled devotees Hare Krishna all glories to the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna. All glories to the assembled devotees. 
All glories to Sri Sri Guru Gurango, glories to Srila Prabhupada, esoteric teaching ki ja. Namo Vishnu Padai, Krishna Prasthaya, Guru Vaishnavi Bhakti Vidana Swami. Namani, Namaste, Saraswati Devi, Guru Mani, Vishwani, Vishesha Shri Vadi Prasachari. So, welcome to today's satsang. <laughs> today's meeting of transcendental madmen. <laughs> Are all the transcendental madmen accounted for? Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Reading from Vishnu Sahasranam, prologue. Shloka 4. Shri Bhishma Uvacha Jagat Prabhum Deva Devam Anantam Purushottamam Stuvan Nama Sahasrena Purusha Satatotitaha Bhishma said, The Supreme Personality of Godhead is the controller of all moving and non-moving living entities and he is the worshipable master of all the demigods. His transcendental forms and qualities are unlimited, and he is the best of all persons. One should always glorify him by enthusiastically chanting his thousand holy names, Vishnu Sahasratnam. Text 5. Tameva charchaya nityam bhaktya purusham avyayam Dhyayan stuvan namasyangs cha yajamanas tameva cha. With great faith, the devotee should worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, whose forms, qualities, opulence, and pastimes are all eternal and transcendental. The devotee should glorify him, continually meditate on his transcendental form, and offer obeisances by bowing down before him. So here we are in the prologue. This uh, is actually before the beginning of the thousand names. Yet we see that Bhishma is actually already invoking the names of God. He says in text four, Jagat Prabhum. Jagat means everybody all the living entities. And Prabhum means master or controller. And then he says, Deva Devam, God of gods. So this is giving the distinction between the demigods or temporary controllers of the material energy and the Supreme Lord or the eternal Supreme Controller, Deva Devam. Anantam, he's eternal, Purushottamam. Purusha Uttamam. Purusha means person, and Uttamam means ultimate or supreme. So the ultimate supreme person, Purushottamam, is only Lord Krishna. Ishvara Parama Krishna, Satchit Ananda Vigraha, Anadir Adir Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam. Lord Brahma says in the first shloka of Brahma Samhita, Ishwara Parama Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Controller. Krishna is the Supreme Godhead. Uh, it's not that Krishna is an incarnation of Vishnu. Rather, Vishnu is an expansion of Krishna. And when we talk about the thousand names of Vishnu, we actually mean the thousand names of Krishna. And Baladev Vidyabhushana, the great Acharya in our lineage who wrote the commentary on Vedanta Sutra, the Govinda Bhasya, he brings out this fact in his commentary and translation on Vishnu Sahasranam. And that's what we're going to be following. In other words, most of the translations and commentaries on Vishnu Sahasranam assume 
that Krishna is the tenth incarnation of Vishnu. But we don't accept that. We say that Vishnu is an expansion of Krishna. And when Krishna appeared on this planet 5,000 years ago, Vishnu and all the other forms of the Supreme Personality of Godhead appeared within him. Therefore, sometimes he appears in the mood of Vishnu in order to carry out the duties of the Yuga Avatar, which are to prepare the situation for the following Yuga and so on, and also to give the Yuga Dharma. But actually, his pastimes in Vrindavan are only uh, the pastimes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has nothing to do. Uh, he's God on vacation, <laughs> eternally. He's just enjoying. He's just playing with the cows and cowherd boys and cowherd girls in the beautiful forest of Vrindavan. Uh, he doesn't have any